Hi, this is Russ Anderson. Today we're going to talk about the Perspective View's locking capability. You'll see the lock button here and some of the little features associated with that. Now, if I click the lock button, you'll see now the Perspective View has, is no longer showing the camera view behind it. and I can move, move around here within the camera view however I like. I can lock back up and again see the camera view and the perspective view's vantage point has been matched back up to the camera. So the particular shot that we're working with is a stereo shot. And if you look carefully, you can see that there are actually two camera views and two camera paths in the 3D environment. You can see the bump here in the hierarchy view also. So the question here is, you know, what happens in the perspective view when I go and change the active tracker host up here. And that depends on some right click menu settings for the perspective view. So I had to click right up at the very top of the perspective view in order to be able to get this menu to fit on the screen so that you can see it. We've got a couple of different entries here that are related to this. The first one is this lock to current camera, which is on and indicating that the perspective view is locked and it's locked to this right camera. The second one is saying that it is going to stay locked to the host, which is the active tracker host up here. So that's giving you an idea what's going to happen if I go up now and change the active tracker host. You see that it switches to the other camera's view. So I can switch back and forth there. I can switch up here, however I like. So now we're going to go and make life a little more interesting and complicated and see what's happening. So I'm going to set up a configuration with multiple different perspective views. I'm going to make this top one just the same perspective view. This one down here is going to be perspective view B. So it has a different set of parameters. And again, this one's going to be perspective view C with yet a third set of available settings that I can change independently. So I've got them all locked up. And now I'm going to make some changes. I'm not going to change this top one. I'll just show again. It is set to be the current camera and it's locked to the current host. The one down here at bottom right I'm just going to turn off the Stay Locked to Host button. And the one down at bottom left, I'm going to go and actually select the left camera. So you can see that the little list of different cameras and objects, you can select those particularly and then directly set the perspective view to that particular camera. So that's what I've done there. Now I've got this perspective view set up for the left, this one to the right, this one to the top. So now you can guess what's going to happen when I change these. Only the one at top actually changes to follow the active tracker host setting. Now let's take a look at this a little more. When I unlock and look at the menu buttons, menu items here, you'll see that it's not showing that it's locked to left camera one or right camera one, of course, because it's not. Since it's staying locked to the host, its behavior is determined by whatever happens to be the case when I next hit the left button, you know, the lock button. So when the active tracker, you know, the, the stay locked is uh, on and it's unlocked, these entries are both turned off because it didn't determine what's going to happen. That depends on what you do at a later time. So by contrast, this view down here, you know, you can see the right camera one is selected now. If I go and unlock, it's no longer locked. You can see that there and, you know, up here, but you also see that the right camera one is still listed because that's what's going to happen now when I hit that lock button again. It goes back to right camera one. 
And just the same way over here, this is showing left camera one and it's locked. I turn off the lock and I still see left camera one because when I hit the left, the look button or lock button again, I get back to left camera one. So, you know, basically I've set up these views to always track that particular perspective uh, camera. One other little thing here, you know, I, I can go and just quickly start a camera motion here, and that detaches the perspective view from the path of the camera. Now I can right click and it jumps back, and again it, it gets back to the particular camera that's selected for this particular perspective view. So I just point that out. It's kind of one of the, the small features that people may not have noticed. It can be handy when you're trying to sort out what's in some particular area when it's all packed closely together. You can just kind of maybe go and orbit around something and get a better handle of what's, what's going on and what's there. One other thing to this, there are a bunch of preferences that control this system's behavior. The first one there is the stay locked to host, and this is used to set the menu item on the right click menu for the perspective window when a new perspective window is first opened up. So normally it's it's easiest, I think, to have it have the stay locked to host button on so that, that gives you the behavior that you see in this top left or top right hand window. There's also this control that's uh, always locked to the active host. And when this is set, you know, it's always going to lock to the active tracker host up here, not to the one that's been stored away. And the point of this is if you go and turn on that active, always locked to active host and turn off the stay locked to host, this gives you basically the behavior of Synthize prior to version 1608 when these particular features were introduced. So hopefully that gives you some idea how you can set this all up to do what you want. Thanks for watching.